everyone. Coming hey, YouTube. Live. <laughs> Welcome to Dubai. I let it to make it lovely to see you again. Ah, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. So we're on a Dubai watch <clears throat> experience today. Hey, it's my channel. What are you doing? Oh. Hey, everyone. We are coming to you from UAE in Dubai. As you can maybe tell from behind us, we're at Dubai Mall. What are we doing today? Well, we're doing a watch experience. Very nice. Thank you to Richemont. We're going to be seeing some of our fave dream pieces. Exactly. Actually, we'll... just firstly, before we continue for the camera, this is my old man, by the way, for those, <laughs> who, for those who weren't aware. Do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, YouTube. <laughs> and your name? No? <laughs> All right. To be remaining anonymous. Anonymous. Of course. Um, so, yes. Richemont have put on an experiencing time uh, watch event here in Dubai Mall. What brands are we going to see today? Uh, today we're going to be looking at Vacheron Constantin, Beautiful. Uh, Jäger Le Couffre, oh, and the International Watch Company. Also known as IWC for those who don't know the abbreviations. Um, awesome, All right, let's get to it. Okay. All right. Vacheron is up first. Just came out of Vacheron. It was nice. There wasn't really any. There wasn't really anything special about the uh, the event. What did you What did you think of Vacheron? Uh, surprised. Uh, they have limited uh, availability of models, but the, um, the vintage, the re really cool reissue. Wow, one from 1996 61. and then 1961. Yeah, 32 crazy. Mil, white gold, like um, a satin dial. Beautiful, Just really, really nice. All right, we are now heading in to IWC uh, for the next event, which should be a VR thing. It's right next door to Vacheron, which is very convenient. So let's go in and take a look. Normally, whenever I go into a store, the watches never fit me uh, on the bracelet, but this one perfectly fits me like a glove. So maybe it's destiny. This is the 45 mil grand complication. It's a perpetual calendar, chronograph, and a minute repeater, just because why not? Right. IWC down in for the final appointment at your favorite GG Le Coutre. Let's see how it is.
And to end the day, I'm gonna have a quick look at MBNF's Mad Gallery. All right, so, how was today? Rundown. First we went to Vachon. I'll admit, the whole sort of Richemont experience time event, we went to the three brands and we didn't, the, the experience time aspect was not there at all. We pretty much just went and checked out watches for three hours, which is so great, you know, my ideal way to spend a Sunday. Um, Vacheron, they had this historical archive set up with tech that didn't really work properly, so that was a bit underwhelming. Uh, that being said, we checked out some really cool historical vintage watches that have been refurbished. Uh, IWC, probably at the coolest store, they had a really nice uh, Mercedes F1 car set up. Uh, the actual experience time element was meant to be this virtual reality experience to um, understand why they choose the colors they use on their dials. So, safe to say we didn't do that and we just spent the whole time looking at watches pretty much until we had to leave for the JLC event. The JLC event was probably the most unique in terms of the experiencing time element because they actually had a, um, it's not gear show, what's the machine? What's the pattern? Circlage making machine, I'm not sure. Circlage, uh, for perlage, that's the one. They had the uh, machines that they're artisans for, for perlaging on, uh, so that was really cool. Let me just, let me get it out. So we got to practice the perlage. Don't know if that's gonna focus or not, but um, did the perlaging, which was pretty cool. So it turns out JLC only have two people in their entire artisanal studio who do 24 seven perlaging on all their watches. So that was kind of nifty. Um, certainly the most hands-on, probably the, the most unique aspect of today. Notes to Richemont for the future of the Experience Time event. I thought it was certainly really cool, um, especially if you're not too familiar with uh, watches and their history and you want to learn more and get a hands-on experience. But uh, for someone who is perhaps very well versed in watches, owns a couple of Richemont brand watches, uh, I feel there wasn't necessarily too much of substance there. I, it definitely felt like it was very much an entry level to generate and spark interest in watches as opposed to satisfy the watch enthusiasts and dive deeper into the brands and explore the brands they love. So uh, if you're not into watches, one, I'm impressed that you're watching my channel. Thank you for being here. Um, but two, maybe pursue some other avenues. I'm sure there are sort of specific events by dedicated watch forum enthusiast groups that um, would probably be more um, applicable to you and you'd learn a lot more from. That being said, if you do happen to be in Dubai for today, tomorrow, and I think on Tuesday, which is Tuesday the 13th of December, uh, you know, stop by. There, there's no way in hell I'm uploading this video before then, so. Anyway, yes, cut, thank you. Wait, use this song for the intro of the video, I think that was very